Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Wade's Movie World. Of course, you know me. I'm Wade. So here we go again. I'm having to do another one of these tribute videos because someone else has passed away. But this is not an actor or an actress or anyone associated with TV or movies unless you count the football games broadcasted that were on TV or the short part that this man had in the NBC TV show episode of Friday Night Lights. I am talking about college football coach Mike Leach. He is the creator of the spread air raid offense that has become so popular now in college football. Mike Leach was the head coach for the Texas Tech Red Raiders football team from 2000 to 2009. I myself was a student at Texas Tech University in Lubbock, Texas from 2007 to 2010, and I was there during Mike Leach's last three seasons as the head football coach. I always enjoyed going to games at Jones AT&T Stadium on the Tech campus in Lubbock when he was the coach there. He made watching football so much fun. Sometimes I went to games alone, and sometimes I went with my dad, and sometimes I went with both my dad and my mom when they were in town, and we would always have a blast going to a game that Mike Leach was coach at because, like I said, he made football so much fun to watch. When the team was away, I also enjoyed watching the Red Raiders games on TV when the network would broadcast the games. Sometimes the network wouldn't play the Red Raiders games, so I would just have to wait and get online and see what the score was and see if they had won. But most of the time, the networks did broadcast the games, which was always enjoyable. The best football game ever on the Tech campus was Saturday, November 1st, 2008. It was a night game in Lubbock when the Texas Tech Red Raiders beat the then number one Texas Longhorns in the final seconds of the game when quarterback Graham Harrell threw a pass to wide receiver Michael Crabtree who caught it and ran it into the end zone with one second left in the football game and we ended up beating the Texas Longhorns who were, like I said, number one and it was one of the best nights ever in Lubbock and to be a student during that time was amazing. That was one night I will never forget. I thought he'd had it. Still one timeout left here for Texas Tech. Eight seconds. Second down now. Deep strike. Got the big man. Country pulls free. And touchdown. Red Raiders with a second to go. Mike Leach was more than just a football coach. He was a man who was interested in the world around him. He had some weird obsessions like Pirates and Geronimo. He loved card tricks and he had some interesting conversations that intrigued the people around him like everyday people or people in the community or with his coaches and players. And those conversations would go from any type of subject but would most of the time wind themselves back around to football. Mike Leach was a husband, father, and grandfather, and one hell of an awesome college football coach. Mike Leach was a people person and met all kinds of people from his coaches, his players, people in the communities that he lived in or visited. He was also friends with actor Matthew McConaughey, and he also was friends with actor-director Peter Berg, who directed movies such as The Rundown, Friday Night Lights, Lone Survivor, Patriot's Day, Deepwater Horizon, and Battleship. Peter Berg invited Mike Leach to some pre-production meetings for the movie Battleship and Mike Leach kind of had a say or kind of had some ideas for them during the meetings and they let Mike Leach express those ideas and according to Peter Berg in Mike Leach's book Swing Your Sword he said the following. Peter Berg said that we were in the pre-production stages of Battleship and really making decisions that were going to impact the direction of the movie. We were finishing the script and conceiving the look of the creatures in the film, and I wanted Mike's opinion, and he was incredibly clear in his thought process. He'd sit in on the meetings and raise unique questions that none of us had considered. We talked about the Civil War a lot and Blackbeard the Pirate and some of his battles. Mike would go off on these tangents, but then they would always bring themselves right back to something that was relevant in a business that he did not know much about. He makes a tremendous amount of sense when he talks to you, and he knows exactly what he's doing all the time, and I think he's brilliant. 
And that's what Peter Berg had to say about Mike Leach when he sat in on those pre-production meetings with Peter Berg for the movie Battleship, which that's pretty cool. So as for me, I myself met Mike Leach just briefly when he came back to Lubbock, Texas to sign copies of his book, Swing Your Sword. He signed my book for me and was a nice and respectful gentleman, and I wish I could have had more time with him to have a conversation with him or even become friends with him, but that wasn't in the cards. Later on, Mike Leach authored another book along with Buddy Levy called Geronimo, Leadership Strategies of an American Warrior. And I have that book, but I have not read it yet. So I will probably read it sometime soon. After Mike Leach left Texas Tech, he became the head football coach for the Washington State Cougars in Pullman, Washington. He coached there from 2012 to 2019, and I watched a lot of the WSU games on TV and kept up with that program. While at WSU, during the offseason, Mike Leach and a friend who was a Harvard graduate came up with an idea for a class to teach at Washington State University called Insurgent Warfare and Football Strategy. That class became the most sought-after class in Washington State University history. In 2020, Mike Leach left Pullman, Washington and accepted the head football coaching job for the Mississippi State Bulldogs football program in Starkville, Mississippi. I again followed that program as well and watched the games on TV when I could. Leach has had success at every place he has coached and his track record shows it. As for Texas Tech, he is the winningest football coach in Texas Tech University football history. I was sad to hear when it was in the news that Mike Leach was having medical issues and in the hospital. I was then and still am devastated that such a great and awesome man and a great football coach passed away. I was heartbroken and I'm still heartbroken. I'm heartbroken for his family, his friends, his players, coaches, all of the Mississippi State community, and all of the college football fans who loved him like myself. And of course, the people at Washington State University and Texas Tech University and the Lubbock, Texas community. The earth lost a great man, but heaven gained an awesome angel. I know he is having the time of his life up there. To Mike Leach himself, I know I met you just briefly and I wish I could have gotten to know you more and had a conversation or even a friendship with you. I would love to know your thoughts on some movies and TV shows. To Mike Leach's family, we are all with you in mourning him. My heart and prayers go out to you during this terrible and trying time. So Mike, when the Lord calls me home to heaven, I hope to meet you up there and maybe we can strike up a friendship up there. Thank you for everything you did, especially at Texas Tech University and in Lubbock, Texas. Your spirit will always live there and it will never die with the real people of Texas Tech and Lubbock who loved you as part of our West Texas community. I will keep swinging my sword in honor of you, sir. Thanks again and rest in peace. You are the ultimate pirate captain. Now from the KMAX Storm Team Weatherland. Here's Chief Meteorologist Ron Roberts. Well, take a look at Pinpoint. Are you still the Super Doppler? Yeah, of course I am. What's it? <laughs> hey, Coach. How you doing? Uh, it's good to see you. Great to see you. Man, it's been it's been a while. You look great. Well, so do you. Uh, well, now, I want to ask you something. Does it, does it rain mud in Pullman? No, it does not rain. It rains, but it does not rain mud in Pullman. Oh, and we've had hail in Pullman, but uh, it does not rain mud in, in Pullman. And, and um, as coaches, we failed to get through to them. As, as coaches, we failed uh, to make our coaching points and our points more compelling than their fat little girlfriends. Now, their fat little girlfriends have some obvious advantages. For one thing, their fat little girlfriends are telling them what they want to hear, which is how great you are and how, uh, how easy it's going to be and how, you know, uh, you know, we had, we had, you know, we had a whole bunch of people. Everybody wanted to win the football game, but nobody wanted to play the football game. Well, I, I mean, that defies every level of uh, work ethic that exists with regard to football.